Um, I don't know how to feel. I don't. I don't know if I'm frustrated, relaxed, bored. I don't know if. Am I okay? It's just one of. Is this one of my low moments? Um. What is going on? All right, so um, I am home and um, I don't know what is going on. I am feeling a mixture of things. Um, and I'm gonna title this uh, Behind the Scenes. Right, because when people see you post on social media, whether it's an encouraging word or whether it's something funny or, you know, you just, I'm just being my silly self and people, um, people tend not to check on you or look for you, right? Because you the strong friend. And I can honestly say, and I'm being very transparent, if you feel like you gonna judge, you ain't even gotta watch this video. If you spectating, um, you ain't gotta watch this video. All right, um, you can just hop off, honestly, um, yeah. But um, people don't really um, understand what people really go through behind the scenes right because all you know is um is a pretty picture or a pretty post or a deep post or or dang you know what you posted elder was very encouraging but it's the moments like this it's the moments like this that enables me to be able to um, encourage you with such profound words, right? It's these low moments that makes me understand where you are coming from because um, what we don't talk about is being the first partaker, right? Because when you look at these coaches, when you look at these mentors, when you see these ministers, these apostles, these prophets, um, teachers uh pastors right they had to go through it first right so this is why some of us um that 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 is genuine and what we do when we're not looking um for for likes but we're, we're we're looking to be more impactful right where we're looking to truly um help you get out of that dark place when we're truly you know wanting you to elevate to truly increase not just um looking at you as another number or looking at you as another subscriber but genuinely wanting you to be in the state of joy right because happiness is a feeling but joy is a state of being right so people don't see behind the scenes when we're having those low moments where we're looking like okay is somebody gonna call and be like hey are you okay um with those moments where it'd be like hey um let me bless your cash app or hey let me take you out to dinner or hey let's go get some drinks or hey let's go by the beach right we need those phone calls too we need those phone calls too, right? Because of moments like this, where you don't even have the drive to get up and create. You don't have the momentum. You don't even have the energy, right? It's it's the moments like this. Um, and my Saturday did not go as planned, right? Because Saturday is technically my me day, right? And on all honesty, I'm not I'm not even gonna be before you long because I gotta get to church because we have a conference, right? So um let me get to the light so that I'm not such <laughs> in the dark, right? So um <sighs> I got a package. I don't know who sent me a package, but um I don't know, but I'll open it in a second. But um, I really don't know how to feel, all right? 
and this is where I have to play my worship music. This is where sometimes I have to go in tongues, um, you know, speak in my heavenly language and let the Holy Ghost intercede. Um, you know, um, I'm getting ready to do a 21 day reset, right? Um, cause I'm getting ready to go full throttle with my coaching, um, business. Um, but I want to reset, right? So for 21 days, um, my pillars are pray, fast, speak, believe, um, where I just want to recalibrate. Okay. Um, because I, I practice what I preach, what I advise you guys to do, what I encourage you guys to do, right? My cousins, um, I do it for myself too. So for 21 days, I'm going to be re recalibrating. So I won't be on social media as much, but I'm in a place where I miss my husband. Um, I'm in a place where it's like, dang, elder, you're doing a good job. But at the same time, I could be doing more, right? I'm in a place where I'm like, you know, I'm looking at my daughter and I'm like, you know, dang, I'm doing a good job with her, but then I can do more. So I'm in this stuck place and it's like now I'm needing to pour into myself and it's like, how do I do that? Hold on, that's my mom. Hello. Um... So I don't know. I don't know what I got going on today, but God is good no matter what, right? So I just wanted to leave this quick video with you to put some things into perspective for you, okay? Maybe it is you that is in my position, right? Or maybe you know somebody um, that is in my position, or you may know somebody that is like me, right? You, you may have that strong friend if you're not the strong friend, right? Um, because you know, with the strong friend, we don't want to be a burden to other people, right? Because it's like, um, yeah, we don't want to be a burden because we do not know, or, you know, we don't want to interrupt your capacity. So if you have a strong friend, all right, listen, reach out to your strong friend. All right. Take this as a confirmation and be like, hey, friend, how can I serve you? Hey, friend, can I take you out? You know, whether it's a walk on the beach or a walk in the park or let's go out for quick drinks. Can I honor you? Can I pour into you? Right. Um, can I treat you today? Right. <laughs> Can I treat you today? Um, or just, you know, go and just be in their presence. You don't necessarily have to talk about what they got going on, what's on their mental or what's on their dome or whatever the case may be. But just uh, create an atmosphere um, that would help them to relax, right? Um, that would help them to build up um their vibrations right that's that's what we say nowadays right um create an atmosphere that will help them to um build up their vibrations or create an atmosphere um a safe place where they are able to release all right where they're able to release whatever emotions whatever feelings um that they're feeling um and and if you are that strong friend and you don't have nobody um to check on you um this is my advice to you is that um it is okay for you to treat yourself it is okay for you to pour into yourself um we have to be intentional about it right because oftentimes we are the neglected one we are the neglected one right um so I want you in this season um, and moving forward in every season, be intentional about your mental health. Be intentional about your health, about your physical, about your emotional, about your mental, about your, um, your financial. Everything concerning you, I want you to be intentional about it. You have to get to a place where you stop neglecting you. You have to get to a place where you. it's okay for you to set those boundaries. And guess what? It's okay for you to say no. It's okay for you to say no. Because behind the scenes, y'all, it's a mess. Behind the scenes, y'all, sometimes we don't have the help. All right? Behind the scenes, y'all, it's emotional. 
behind the scenes we're tired but no matter what we're gonna keep on going because that's what we do that's what we do that's what we do so listen i really need y'all to be in the comments because in the comments can you leave a message for me can you encourage me in the comments cousin that's all i ask for can you encourage me in the comments but i love y'all be blessed be encouraged and remember you have victory on every side yeah okay i forgot um we're gonna go ahead and i don't have a tripod i need a new tripod y'all so i got something in the mail today um I don't know who this is from, but we're gonna open it. And I really don't know what this is. It doesn't have a letter, but it says Homest. Um, by the way, <laughs> gifts are my love language. So check out my Amazon wish list. don't know what this is guys but thank you i think it might have to do with my cricket my new cricket that i got for my birthday i think that's what it is because it also has pockets I don't know who sucked this but thank you i think it goes on my cricket because it's about the same size as the cricket so and it says my name i think i have an idea who this is but love y'all